not French enough, not Indian enough, right, to, to fit into those, those communities. So you really um, fell between in it. That's why I say it's really amazing that our ancestors were find a way to survive. The Métis have lived in Georgian Bay since the early 19th century. Many Métis families migrated from Drummond Island in 1828. Having lived, worked, and traveled together for generations, these families shared a vast kinship network that stretched throughout the Great Lakes. When they left Drummond Island, they relocated as a community. Arriving on the shores of Penetanguishene, Métis families camped together in wigwams or small huts as they settled into their new home. Those who took lots in Penetang were expected to clear the land and farm. And they weren't farmers, they were uh, fishermen, tradesmen. Living and working on waterways across the Great Lakes, the Métis had witnessed other distinct groups being recognized and given presents by the government. The Crown offered these presents to First Nations and occasionally Métis as a way of establishing and strengthening relationships. Though not recognized in this way, the Métis in Penetanguishene had their own way of life, which set them apart from First Nations and settlers in the region. In 1840, the Métis asserted themselves as a distinct community. Upon hearing that their kin across the Great Lakes were receiving benefits from the government, members of the Penetanguishene Métis community came together to sign a petition calling out for equal treatment. The petition went in from Penetanguishene talking about, you know, to be given the same kind of um, of gifts that were being given at uh, at Sault Ste. Marie to their to their cousins and, and relatives. Self-identifying as the half-breeds residing at the town of Penetanguishene, their petition stated that they did not share in any advantage of the half-breeds from the Sault Ste. Marie and other places on the shores of Lake Huron. Though the petition did not gain the Métis community any government recognition, they continued to practice their unique culture and traditions apart from other groups. Their homes were usually on the outskirts. That's my family experience. Culturally, they were kind of an isolated community. Even as French Catholic habitant farmers began to arrive from Quebec, the Métis remained distinct. Despite sharing a language and religion with the habitants, the Métis did not share their way of life. While the habitants relied on farming, the Métis fished, traded, and guided. More importantly, the Métis community had a unique heritage, culture, and traditions that distinguished them from their neighbors. Today, over 82% of Métis Nation of Ontario citizens residing in Georgian Bay trace their ancestry to the historic Métis community there. The Georgian Bay Métis community has not only survived, it has thrived. Music